Hey everybody, welcome back to Movies with Mia. If you're new to the channel, hi, I'm Mia Tiffany, and here we are watching the greatest classic films throughout history. Today, we are reviewing some of the most alluring on-screen couples chemistry with the film, What's Up Doc? Now, before we jump into the video, I would like to shout out my Golden Oscar patrons. Guys, thank you so much for your continuous support of the channel. And if you're interested in becoming a VIP Tiffany Club member, then I highly encourage you to check out that Patreon link, which is in the description box below. Finally, I wanted to say officially on camera that we have dropped merch. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to share this with you guys. I'm actually wearing the long sleeve shirt. It's super comfy. We also have regular t-shirts, we have hoodies, and we have MWM mugs. So if you're interested in looking at our new merch or just checking out the brand new website, the link is in the description box below. It is www.miatiffany.com. Go check that out and tell me what you guys think. Okay, on to the video. What's Up Doc was released in 1972, directed by Peter Bogdanovich, starring Barbara Streisand and Ryan O'Neill, with other notable performances by Kenneth Mars, Austin Pendleton, Sorrel Book, Michael Murphy, and Madeline Kahn. Okay, at this point, we are going to get into some historical background. For those of you who want to jump right onto the film reaction, go for it. But for those of you who want to stay, we're going to get right into it. Director Peter Bogdanovich wanted to create a film inspired by many of the screwball comedies of the 1930s and 1940s. He also had a chance to work with Barbara Streisand, who had been an admirer of his since his release of the film The Last Picture Show in 1971. So once Barbara Streisand signed on to Bogdanovich's project, she actually secured a role for Ryan O'Neill, who she was dating at the time. Upon its release, What's Up Doc was received really well by the public and it actually went on to be named the best original comedy by the Writers Guild of America. Okay, on to some interesting facts. So Streisand wasn't really pleased with the outcome of the film despite its high praise. While she did trust Bogdanovich's direction, she didn't particularly find the premise of the film funny. Which is understandable because screwball comedies have a very distinct type of humor, so I understood that as I was researching. Despite this, Bogdanovich really wanted to highlight Streisand's comedic talent and showcase her the way that he had seen her. Quote, funny, cute, charming, and kind of a wise-ass at the same time, unquote. <laughs> With that being said, this is my first time watching What's Up Doc, and I'm so excited to get into it. But before we do, y'all know the deal. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification to stay in the loop. All right, everyone, it is time to grab your snacks, grab your drinks, get cozy, and let's get in to What's Up Doc. These intros are always so fun, especially in like the late 60s and early 70s. It gets more exciting. <laughs> mm -hmm. Top secret information in this case. <laughs> So we know it is a very important case of some sort. <laughs> His eyes are just glued to this man walking. Oh. <laughs> oh no. It's a man with a similar case. Oh, I could already see how this could be trouble. Howard, when I ask you to wait for me, I expect you to stay there. Yes, Eunice. Well, I've just enough time to get dressed for the banquet. Yes, Eunice. Put these things in a taxi. Yes, Eunice. Yes, Eunice. <laughs> Loving the colors already and how vibrant the uh, the costuming is. This freaking golf case. <laughs> it took some out. Oh my god. There's another plaid case. And there's Barbara. <laughs> Didn't come down. No, sorry. <laughs> oh my god. And she doesn't even acknowledge that there was a freaking crash. It's a beautiful city, isn't it, Howard? Did you hear me, Howard? What? <laughs> I feel like um, he's really channeling his inner uh, Cary Grant from Bringing Up Baby. Hey, what are you trying to do? Get yourself killed? My igneous rocks. I hope they're not damaged. I hate it when my igneous rocks are even touched. <laughs> oh my god. Love those innuendos. He's taking all these golf. Why do you even have the golf club? It's totally unnecessary. Oh my god. She's causing crashes everywhere she goes. I was wondering if my friends were still here. I believe they were in room 1717. I'm sorry, but that room is vacant. They told me they would be in room 1717 at the Hotel Crystal. This is the Bristol, madam. 
Not the crystal. <laughs> You're at the wrong hotel. Oh, love her outfit so nice queen with the shorts with on. <laughs> uh, oh. Boy? Did all these people just go to the same department store and get the same case? There are now four cases that look exactly the same. Oh no. This is gonna be pandemonium. Franz, I'm gonna take this with me. And tomorrow I want you to put it in the hotel safe for me. It will be done, madam. Okay, he's keeping on an eye on the woman with the uh, numerous jewels. Hi, room service. I would like a double thick roast beef sandwich and a coffee. Hot fudge sundae with a large bottle of diet anything. Room 1717. Uh-oh. She has her eye on, uh, on Mr. Howard, Dr. Howard. Go to the drugstore and get some aspirin. I want you to be in shape for this evening. Be back in my room in five minutes. Eunice. Yes. Why am I going to the drugstore? Aspirin. Right. <laughs> Love the quirkiness of his character. Very, uh, very quirky. Uh-oh, she's on the move. He is quite handsome. I will give him that. Like, oh no, I'm looking at you, babe. Oh! What's up, Doc? What's up, Doc? Oh, she has a carrot in her hand like Bugs Bunny! Oh my god! I have this theory about early man's musical relationship to igneous rock formations, but I guess you're not really interested. Not as much as I am in the metamorphic or sedimentary rock categories. Okay, boo, she knows- she knows what she's talking about! Okay! He's so quirky, but it's cute. <laughs> Was it something I said? I beg you. I don't know your name. Judy Maxwell. Uh, could you let go of my hand? I don't think so. Oh. oh! What happened? I already am loving the fact that we do get so much influence of the 30s and 40s screwball comedies. It's like a mix of the old and the new, and I think it is so refreshing to watch something like this. Let me help you. Don't help me. Just go away. Is this the kind with buffering? How much do I owe you? Sixty-eight twenty-nine. Sixty-eight dollars for aspirin? Dang! What's that? A radio? Radio? I don't want a radio. What about your oh. wife? I don't know who you are. I don't know who she is. <laughs> Buy the radio. It's on sale. Steve, wait! Oh man, it's the the gender role reversal here, where she's kind of more pining after her, him, this free spirit, and he's more of like reserved and not really showing any um, affection back. Steve! Oh! <gasps> oh uh, my God! Just like bringing a baby. Terribly sorry. Steve. Name is not Steve. It is Howard Bannister. I like Steve better anyway. The nicknaming, kind of reminiscent of uh, To Have and Have Not. Howard, I said five minutes. I'm sorry, Eunice. Eunice? That's a person named Eunice. Steve, we didn't <laughs> call you. It's a person now. named Eunice? But we will be soon. Condolences. Condolences. <laughs> She is witty! Oh, I love it! Don't pay any attention to her, Eunice. Don't you know the <laughs> meaning of propriety? No. Conformity to established standards of behavior or manner suitability. See etiquette. And I love that he kind of gave her wit, charm, and also in like some intelligence there. What is this guy doing? Oh my god, he's gonna mistake the wrong bag. Looking uh, for my key. Maybe the door is open. Why does how, why hasn't he put the golf clubs down yet? Because clearly it's weighing him down. <laughs> Who's there? It's me, Howard Bannister, your fiance. You look very nice, <laughs> so Howard. Strange. You look very nice too. Well, come in. I'll do your tie. What tie is that? The tie in your hand. It's funny that Howard is kind of the ditzy one, and she's the one that's more like witty, free spirited, aware. I don't know. I I like that reversal there. Dinner's here. Crap. <laughs> I don't know who he is, but I hate him. <laughs> I don't know who he is, but I hate him. He's like, that, but that was my dinner. You must have said something to encourage that girl. What? After all, you are a man. Yes. And she is a woman. Yes, that's true, In too. the same way that I am a woman. I think of you as, as Eunice. As Eunice. <laughs> that's comforting. I'm like crying. Oh my God. Well, but I am a woman, Howard. Oh, I know that. Well, but... I'm not looking for romance, Howard. Oh. Romance fades and something else takes its place. Senality. Trust. That's what I meant. <laughs> Senality. <laughs> like senile. Oh my god. Well, goodbye, Eunice. Just remember, everything depends on this. There's so much detail that he paid attention to. You can tell he really had a appreciation for old screwballs. Mr. Larrabee, it's a privilege oh my God, to that's meet you. Not I'm him. Dr. Howard Bannister. I, and I'm your head waiter. I'm <laughs> your head waiter. Here you are. Thank you. I don't drink. And it's backwards. Oh, down, Dr. Bannister. <laughs> He's just... We need to protect him. He's gonna steal... Oh my God, who... 
is this guy? That's the freaking case with the jewels Hello? in it. Give me the chief. I got the documents. Bogdanovich really put his own flavor into this, but he didn't sacrifice a lot of the old themes. Mr. Larrabee, I'm your Simon, Mr. Larrabee. Yes, yes indeed, and I, I believe this must be Mr. Sir. Sir. I want you to know that I personally have nothing to <laughs> do. Oh my god, how awkward is this? Oh my goodness. I'm like, sir, can you please release my hands kindly? Believe me, I understand it. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, I'm oh, oh, wow. terribly <laughs> sensible. Dr. Bennett. <laughs> oh my god. Why won't he just put the drinks down? Just put them down on the table. Good evening, Professor Hosquith. This is Howard Bannister. Oh, uh, your fiance was just telling us about your most incredible adventure in the sky. What adventure did I have? Oh, to tell us all about it, Bannister. I'm so used to seeing, you know, like the slick back hair and everything's all primp, and, but we're getting to the 70s where things are a lot laid back, so it's kind of a trip. How do you do? <laughs> you! Nis, you Nis, Howard. Eunice. Oh. Probably the excitement of meeting you for the first time. I must say I could feel it myself. Oh, can you? <gasps> oh my god, I love her free spirit. My heart is going a mile a minute. Can't you feel it? Yes, I think I can. And they're pounding. It's, a, it's amazing. You should feel it, gentlemen. <laughs> oh my god. Sit down, gentlemen. Feel it, gentlemen. They all stand up. Foolish consistency is the hobgoblin of little minds. Emerson. You like Emerson? I adore him. She's a delight, Bannister. Everyone calls me Bernsey. Bernsey. Uh -huh. Bernsey. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Help? Oh, Eunice is gonna. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be freaking out, bro. Uh oh. Okay, this is the top secret case. The one, the shady guy with the top secret files. So we already have a case mix up here because that guy was going after the case of the jewels, but then the guy with the golf club was going after the case of the top secret files. So there's already a case mix up. Oh no! This is not Eunice Burns. This is not Eunice Burns. I believe I can prove that actual melodies no, really no. existed as far back as 7 million BC. Howard has had discussions with Leonard Bernstein about conducting an avalanche in E flat. I can tell that he really did try to give Streisand the, the spotlight and she's taken every inch of that spotlight. She is just shining on screen. I got the jewels. Get out of here, but don't let anyone see you. Right, <laughs> Fritz. <laughs> oh my God. Where did the second one come from? Wait a second, I wasn't paying attention to the room numbers. You have got to get out of here. What was it, Bannister? Some incredible adventure you had on your flight here. It all began shortly after we passed the point of no return. I think we just passed. <laughs> I think we just passed it. I love their character dynamic here because she has this fiery personality, very free spirited. And then you have Dr. Bannister, who's very reserved. It's working so well in this film. This lady claims to be a Eunice Burns. I am not a Eunice Burns. I am the Eunice Burns. Perhaps you're at the wrong convention. This is outrageous. I've got to talk to you. There goes my napkin. There goes my napkin. Oh my god, she's so quotable. Steve, you don't want to marry Eunice? I'm not Steve. You two just can't keep away from each other. <laughs> now we're having What's a, going on? We're having a chat under know? the table. What kind of wine are you serving at table one? <laughs> what kind of wine are you serving at table one? Some of the jokes are very, are rooted more in a modern time, so I connect with the jokes more, you know? And if you win that grant, you can consider it her victory as well as your own. You follow me? I certainly do. <laughs> Oh, oh, Eunice is getting in no matter what. She's like, I am getting into that banquet. Tell them who I am. You tell them who I am right this minute. I never saw her before. I never saw her before. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Dr. Bannister. You are a rebel. Did you get the jewels out of the hotel? I put it in 1714. I will return the case to her room while you detain her. How do I do that? Use your charm. Oh, <laughs> that's charm? <laughs> Oh my god, that's terrible. One of our regular guests has lost his pet snake. Ah, Poor Eunice. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, that's... Either way, it would have been the wrong case because he took the one with the top secret files. So now, I think he has Dr. Bannister's case. If I'm keeping up with it all right. <laughs> She's like, get away from me. <laughs> She's like, get away. Oh my god. Why do 
does he keep trying to trip her? That's not charming. Oh my god. We've got that Larrabee grant virtually so we? much. The point is that you think that he'll think that you try to put something over on him and it's bye bye 20,000 smack. Right. That money would enable me to establish certain proof for theories of must you stand quite so close. There is sort of something behind her eyes. You can really see that there is a natural chemistry between them. And again, I, I think that's because they were dating. I want you to go away now. Oh, come on, Steve. Give me a chance. When you get to know me better, you'll really like me. I won't like you. Goodbye. Let's just say au revoir. No, let's say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they all say. That's what they all say until they do. <laughs> oh God, no, all these cases are getting all messed up. I'm trying to stay on top of the cases. So I think the one that's in front of that room is the one with the top secret files. I think. She tied that real tight. <laughs> just rips it off. Hello out there. He's all rustling, poor guy. Shit, oh. <laughs> I believe you dropped something. I also like how we're definitely out of the Hayes Code, so you get a lot more funny adult humor. You can play with that more, you know? I'm calling the police. Who do you think they'll arrest? The girl in the tub or the guy with his pants down? Why to me? Why me? Because you look cute in your pajamas, Steve. Get out! Right now? Yes! No! <laughs> no! Oh, and then Eunice is gonna walk in. Howard, what's going on in there? You don't have a bathroom oh. I can put on, do you, Steve? <laughs> I'm coming in. Eunice is coming. You're here like that, and I'm going to jump. <laughs> I'm going to jump. <laughs> God, I love the dialogue. This is great. I would like the key to 1716. Sorry, lady. I'm looking for something with 1717. No. Oh my god, please don't jump. 1717 sounds like he's on the 17th floor, so please don't jump. What's that? That's a bath, Eunice. Since when have you taken bubble baths? I think I lost track of the cases at this point, and now he's looking for the case and it's not there. This has more of like a purpose, like everything kind of connects, you know? That's why I kind of like this a little bit more than bringing up baby. Good evening. Oh Where do you want it, ma'am? I don't ma want food. I hear knocking. It's your nerves. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, and she only has a towel on. Do not let that towel drop. How did she not see her in that moment? I'm going to sleep! You are screaming, Eunice. Some sleep down there. Yes. <laughs> Pull the cable out! Oh! I just talked about not so much chaotic humor, and yet look at all this! Oh my god! I love how the waiter is just still preparing the meal. <laughs> going on <laughs> this is total madness all the while just grabbing the case i think what i really liked about it was in terms of pacing there was a rise into that just chaotic moment i really liked that good morning no i don't think so <laughs> we would appreciate it if you would check out when yesterday <laughs> <laughs> It's that customer is always right mentality, always keeping a face, keeping a smile on your face. Even though on the inside you just want to like snatch his face off. Where were you thinking of going now? I thought maybe I would just sit in the lobby and wait. Mm. <laughs> He's like, mm. don't think that's a good idea. Oh, and there she is. You must... Remember this. Oh my god, love that hat toss to Casablanca. A kiss is still a kiss. As time goes by. You gotta let Streisand sing. You gotta let Barbara Streisand sing if she's in your movie. <laughs> oh! <laughs> You know what Edmund Burke said, you can never plan the future by the past. I was a political science major. And what about the music? Bennington musical appreciation. And when what were you trying to become? A graduate. <laughs> so you got a little bit of knowledge from different places. Hey, I forgot, I forgot to give you this letter. The grant, Mr. Larrabee. Yes, yes, I saw it. Oh, oh. <laughs> she's like, what? <laughs> oh yes, I love them. I've got to tell you, Of course you do. She, she deserves to be the first, <gasps> or at least the second. Or at least the second. <laughs> oh no, someone's coming in! <laughs> oh my god. That was a wonderful kiss, by the way. I have some wonderful news. Have you no heart? Mayonnaise. Eunice, we can straighten all that out this afternoon. The address, please. Oh, he's realizing the case! It's Judy's case. Take it to 459 Dorello Street. It's all settled. Eunice is going to get dressed and meet us there. What about us? And us, we'll say goodbye. She's like, I don't want to say goodbye. Okay. 
I love how she just thinks so quick on her feet. She's just so quick on her feet. Yes? Uh, this is Sylvia, Mr. Larrabee's personal secretary. Yes, the luncheon has been switched to one of the Larrabee Foundation offices. 459 Dorella Street. Dorella? Yes. 459 Dorella Street. Is that the- that's where the other guy's going, right? Oh my god, I love the mischievousness of this! Similar looking bag. Excuse me. <laughs> He's like, wait, what? Two? She has, again, like I said, this eye contact with him. It just really adds to the the realness of, of her affection towards him, you know? Oh, oh queen with the pink. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. <laughs> Complete breakdown right in the middle of the hotel. You sure this is the right address? You don't want me to wait, do you? Yes, I do. I didn't think so. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> Oh my god! She sent her to like some random like- Oh no, Eunice. Oh my gosh, the freaking staircase is like half broken. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello? Oh, I hello? love that. The fact that they have the camera moving with her backwards on her face and then towards the door looks a very like, 70s slasher film. This can't be the Larrabee. What on earth are you doing with Howard Bannister's rocks? It's like, what, lady? Oh my god. <laughs> oh no! Which means that they have the top secret files and the jewels. <laughs> Congratulations, Howard. Thank you, Mr. Larrabee. I want you to come with me, Bernsey, and meet my friend. Wait. Just everything about this era is just so much fun. My natural curiosity was aroused from Mr. Bunkerster and Miss Burns, and I think I think you can wait. I love how that guy has like a really awkward piece of hair that just stays like right there, and it moves weird, but it works. Patient, let me oh. uh, try to point out the wrong case. I think a slight mistake has been made. Nobody move. Forced by. I want that case. Which one? <laughs> what? Oh my God, this is so bad. Uh, oh my God. Throw that up. Down the case. Oh! For God's sake, don't shoot me. I'm part Italian. What I'm part Italian. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh my God! <gasps> oh! 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 <laughs> oh my God! The chaos! <laughs> what is the maid doing? It's about people being hit by like things, but it's so funny. There's random people just like shooting guns. What's going on? Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Hey, how are your legs? My legs. Oh, never mind. Get push. And off we go. Hey. Oh my god, this is hilarious. Oh, I love her pantsuit. So cute. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> Ask. Just keep going. Right underneath, right underneath. Boom. Uh oh. <laughs> they saw right there. Okay, at least the glass was fine. Oh no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's four people. I love the car chasing. <laughs> whose van is that poor? For I feel bad for the person whose van that is. Of course he comes out. Oh. Ooh. Oh. oh, and there you go. There it is. Thank God we got to see that. That's so sad. Oh my God, this is so freaking hilarious. Oh my God, poor babies. Oh. Well, there's not much to see, actually. We're inside a Chinese dragon. <laughs> there are so many car crashes in this film. Oh my God. Well, there goes all the trash, too. Who's gonna pick that up at the end of the day, you know? <laughs> Did you see the way you fell? <laughs> I thought he was gonna break the table, but he <laughs> the way he landed. Oh my god. Let's go. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't know where the alley comes out. Come on, all right, let's go. 
It's not just this bubble of characters. It's this bubble of characters who are now influencing the rest of the residents of San Francisco. It's very cool. This is a terrible thing. But I love that camera movement. I'm sorry, we'll be right back. <laughs> the fact that he didn't put any music behind this either. It's just all of the like car screeches. It's so brilliant. They must have the they must have luck on their side. She closes her eyes. Don't close your eyes. Man. <laughs> oh my God, all that I love how the guy at the convertible would just was absolutely okay with driving this random dude. I think I better turn down there just to be sure. Okay. Oh Sorry. no. Turn it around, baby. <laughs> That's what that dude do. I'd be like, screw it. Oh my God. Cars. I can't believe they're still on them though. Wow, that is amazing. Best car chase I've ever seen in my life. We can make it. No. No. I don't think we can make oh. it. <laughs> the, driver's, the driver's enjoying this. Oh my god. <laughs> Why was that so great? Oh my god. He was just like. I don't even know how to explain that, but that was fantastic. They're a foul and depraved looking lot, bailiff. Those are just the spectators, Your Honor. <laughs> Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> oh God, this judge sounds uh, like a great judge. I'd like to send every one of them to an island wrapped in heavy chains. You know why I don't compassion? I just have too much <laughs> compassion. Poor judge. Maybe he should just step down, take a little vacation. Here they all come. What are these people being charged with? Grand larceny, breaking and entering. They tried to molest me. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Your Honor, I can... <laughs> That's unbelievable. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> well, sir, my name is Howard Bannister. It all started when I went to the drugstore. She kept calling me Steve. Your own fiance calls you Steve? <laughs> the one who isn't my wife. Well, what does the one who isn't your fiance call you? Oh my God, don't it. Oh. <laughs> Is he eating those pills? He doesn't know what they are. Oh my God. Well, anyway, that night at the banquet, she was there again. Your wife or your fiance? Bernsey was there, or rather, the one who isn't Bernsey. <laughs> He's lost. You can tell that the actors are having so much fun with this film. This would have been so much fun to work on. You and the blanket. Exactly what have you got to say for yourself? Hello, Daddy. Oh, that's her dad. <laughs> Oh, I love how he he's literally like thinking of every little detail in this film. Like all the characters, they, they all have meaning, you know? It wasn't all so bad, was it? Of course it was terrible that they took the grant away. Well, they had to do that. Listen, if I paid you off at $10 a week, you'd be even in 38 years and five and a half months. Oh man, I love this so much. You really do get that screwball sense. Ah, good check. It's very nice. Develop this theory. I didn't want. And the Fiddlemeyer proposition. I don't know what you're sure you do. About. I don't. The controversial Fiddlemeyer proposition. Did he steal his theory? He stole his theory. Simon, you snake. Simon, you're a plagiarist. I don't like you, and I want you to go away. The foundation will make out a new check and send it on to you. And I've asked Eunice to stay on with me for a few days. Oh, she found her little man. Okay. Everyone has kind of like a little deus ex machina. Well, Judy, I get oh, Judy. Judy. Go grab her, dude. Go get your girl. Let me guess, she got on the same plane as him. What's up, Doc? I kind of love, though, how at the end there, we things kind of got patched up. Did you happen to know that I love you? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I love how quirky he is. I'm sorry. Love means never having to say you're sorry. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. Oh, that's from Love Story. I know that. And he was in that movie. <laughs> that was so good. That's all, folks. Guys, that was so freaking hilarious. I was not expecting it to be that funny. Because let me tell you, as much as I love screwball comedies, I feel like there is sort of like a, a disconnect because comedy evolves, right, throughout the years. So, you know, you watch it and you kind of miss some of the jokes. But the fact that these jokes had way more of a modern feel and even though it was from the 1970s it was still very um like recent to the time that we're in now i just think that it was so freaking well done so hilarious i loved this setup and you really could tell just sheerly by the detail um of what bogdanovich put into this movie he really had 
such a high appreciation for screwball comedies. I mean, I think he did it such justice, especially introducing it to an audience who may not have been aware with of screwball comedies at the time, um, to really make it very natural for the for the era. I think that he just did such a fantastic job. He really did let Barbara Streisand shine in this movie. And it is so like crazy to me that she didn't find like the the uh the premise of the movie funny. I thought it was so funny. And what she brought to her character really highlighted a lot of the films. Chemistry that she had with Ryan O'Neill, um, the fact that she was a lot more free spirited and he was a lot more like reserved really just meshed so well. Uh, I could really gush about this movie for the next 30 minutes, but I don't want to keep you guys that long. I would give this an 11 out of 10 if I could. So good. Guys, thank you so much for recommending it. And also, thank you so much for watching it with me. All right, everyone, that does it for this video. As always, if you liked it as much as I did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you want to become an official Tiffany Club member, I highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification to stay in the loop. If you would like to see the full reaction of this movie, it is up on Patreon, available exclusively to our Golden Oscar patrons. And in the next video, we are going to be taking a look at more couples chemistry with the film The African Queen. I actually have seen this film. Um, I watched it in one of my lives with my patrons, so it will be a rewatch. But um, if you haven't seen the movie, I highly encourage you to check it out in its entirety before watching the reaction. I have provided links down in the description box below of where you can find a physical copy of it and also where you can stream it online. If you have a recommendation of any classic Hollywood films, we do have a new process just because we have a new website. Um, but it's super easy. All you do is head over to www.beantiphony.com, scroll all the way down, and then you'll see the little section for recommendations. So go ahead and drop all of your recommendations there. Um, and for those of you who are wondering, yes, I still have our old recommendation form available. So don't worry, your recommendations are still being seen and heard. Like I said, if you're interested in buying some of our new merch, go ahead and check it out on our new website. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. This is always such a fun time. Please stay safe and healthy out there and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye everyone.